At Wing, we're building small airplanes to help solve some of the problems associated with last mile delivery. We're building these little airplanes to move little boxes around the world. And for the last several years, uh, we've deployed a fleet of these aircraft all over the globe, and uh, we've used them to move hundreds of thousands of packages. So while we've been doing all this flying all around the globe, we've also had a team that's been focused on what comes next. One of the things that we've learned over the years is that delivery will always be multimodal. Now, if you think about even a traditional delivery today, the same way that you deliver a refrigerator is not the same way that you deliver a small box. The vehicles that are being used to transport these goods fundamentally operate better, more efficiently when they're, they're tailored to the goods they're delivering. If you go to an airport today and you look out on the runway, you see all sorts of different kinds of airplanes. Big airplanes, little airplanes, you see airplanes with four engines on them, you see airplanes with just one engine on them. And the reason for that is that airplanes and in many ways of all forms of transportation are optimized around one particular design point. The airplane you're gonna to design to fly all the way across the ocean is different than the airplane that you're gonna to design to fly from one state to the next. And this holds true when you shrink those airplanes down. The airplane that you're gonna carry around just one prescription pill bottle with is gonna look very different than the aircraft that you wanna carry around 10 pounds of, of goods with. The physics of flight are very unforgiving and to optimize the performance of an aircraft, to optimize the performance of a whole delivery system, it just makes sense to build airplanes, build vehicles that are well matched to the thing that they're carrying around. Our vision for this is what we call the aircraft library, where we've started from a core foundation of our current Hummingbird aircraft. So the airplane that's accumulated hundreds and hundreds of thousands of delivery cycles all around the globe, it has a lot of these core technical building blocks in it. So the computer in the back of the airplane that serves as the brain of the aircraft and helps it fly around, the motors that hold it up in the air, the battery that powers it, the materials and processes that we use to build them, these are all core foundational elements of our system that we've accumulated an immense amount of operational experience on. And we can take these elements and we can put them together in new ways to address different problems. To carry bigger boxes, to carry smaller boxes, uh, to fly further. We can take these common elements and build out a whole variety of different airplanes from them. So you know, a couple examples of that that we've been working on over the past couple of years are you know, taking the current airplane and seeing how small we could go, or taking the current airplane and seeing what would happen if we wanted to carry a bigger package around. On the smaller side, we focused on what if you just wanna deliver the bag of medicine from a pharmacy? What if you wanna build around just prescription delivery? You need a much smaller airplane than what we use today for delivery. And on the larger side, right now today, we carry around uh, three pounds of goods. I and mean, what if you wanted to double that? What if you wanted to carry around a six or seven pound box? What would the aircraft look like? Our philosophy here was to start from these core components and identify the sort of complex and challenging design problems to, to go and make these other aircraft. And a lot of the development work focused on, on solving those particular problems. So for the small airplane, it was really about like, can we make something this small that reaches the performance goals we have. So can we make the wing small enough? Can we come up with a new way to build the wing so that the very tiny wing can hold up the whole airplane? For the bigger airplane, a lot of the cool problems we discovered were like, how do you get this big box into the plane? Do you open it from the front? Do you open it from the top? Does it open from the bottom and sucks the package up in? Like, how do you get this big box inside the airplane? And how does that interface with the business that you're serving? So what we've done in this exercise is we've started from our core and we've built out some of these design concepts. So we've, to take the library analogy one step further, we put a lot more books on the shelf. So we put like sort of more, more articles into the catalog. And these aircraft that we're showing today represent just two of many articles that we're exploring. So you know, we've shown a smaller configuration, we've shown a larger configuration, we're exploring longer range configuration, we're exploring sort of different types of boxes that you're carrying around. All of these things built off of this core design philosophy. And the cool thing about this is that we've solved a lot of the hard airplane problems in these design exercises. We've taken these concepts, we've done a lot of design and concept exploration and testing, and then we've taken that body of work and we've put that article on the bookshelf. 
And when the need arises, whether that's from a new partner that we're working with that wants to carry around a different set of goods, whether that's a different use case that we've identified, we can go into this library, go to the shelf, pull off one of these designs and push it through the rest of the development processes that we've really well defined with our sort of mainstay Hummingbird aircraft. This lets us go from identifying an operational need to solving that operational problem really quickly. We're able to get this flywheel spun up and rolling and we're constantly cycling th new ideas through it. We have a, a rapid design cycle that looks at all sorts of different use cases, is continuously exploring different aircraft configurations. So the point of all of this is that it, it comes down to any one of these efforts is more than just designing a cool airplane. That's a really fun part of the job. That's something that's really neat, getting to, to come into work and build all sorts of different airplanes. The core element here is that we've, we've developed an approach, we've developed a philosophy to building new aircraft and to addressing these operational needs. This exercise becomes more than just a discussion about the aircraft. Well, the airplanes are really neat and it's always fun to go and design new and novel airplanes. The core element here is that what we've learned through doing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of deliveries is the sort of fundamental truth that Delivery will always be multimodal. There's always gonna be different use cases. There's always gonna be different packages you need to carry around. There's always gonna be different ways that you want to interface this system with the communities that you're serving. And by having a design philosophy and by having the institutional capabilities to, to rapidly address those new needs, you can be really responsive to the communities you're serving. You can, you can offer new technologies, you can offer new experiences, you can offer new services to your customers. And the future of drone delivery really is about the system as a whole. You know, no one element can solve all these problems all at once. You're gonna need, you know, all of the pieces working together. You're probably gonna need multiple different types of airplanes to solve different types of delivery problems. You're gonna need to bring all of these pieces together holistically to really make drone delivery a reality. Thank you.